Proverbs chapter 9 is given to us in three, six verse segments for us to see a contrast between the personification of wisdom and that of folly. The first segment, verses 1 through 6, present to us wisdom described as a woman who is welcoming and hospitable. She opens her home and prepares a meal for all who will attend, even going so far as to send out her maids to invite all who will come. Folly, on the other hand, is described as a promiscuous, foolish woman. She goes out into the street inviting people using the same invitation offered by wisdom. Whoever is simple, let him turn in here. But her intention isn't that of wisdom, to increase their understanding. But instead, folly calls those who are simple so that she can trap them and drag them to the depths of Sheol. What is the lesson we can see in this contrast? First, that both wisdom and folly are readily available to all who are seeking them. There's no lack of wickedness in our world today that we can easily partake in. But what about wisdom? In a society where every person has a philosophy they subscribe to or a podcast they listen to where they really know what they're talking about, how do you know what real wisdom is or how to find it? If wisdom is so readily available, why does it seem so hard to identify? Let me take you to two verses that help us see how we can locate true wisdom. First, verse 10 of our chapter says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is insight. True wisdom is based on a reverence and respect for the authority of God. He needs to be the baseline and foundation for our worldview. Second, let's look at James 1.5, which tells us, If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. If you want wisdom, but feel like it's hard to find, let me encourage you, make God the center of your life, and honoring him the basis for your decisions you make today. Also, if you need wisdom, ask God for it because he promises to provide it when we ask.